everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the first episode of Climate Cuisine and today we will be making butternut squash soup. So I traveled to my local co-op and found some delicious looking winter squash, butternut squash being one of them, which is in season right now. I found that that was hard to understand at first because I thought most squash was ready in the fall, but there are plenty of winter squash. They are really good during this time of the year. Traveling to your local co-op or getting produce locally is one of the best ways you can eat sustainably. I hope you like this recipe and it inspires you to either make some soup yourself or just go to your local co-op or somewhere where you can find local produce and get inspired to make a meal based off of that. Hope you enjoy! The ingredients you need for butternut squash soup are, first off, obviously, you need some butternut squash. I picked two that were a couple pounds each. I also have an onion, some garlic, some carrots, kale, vegetable broth, olive oil, salt, chili pepper, and pepper. Now for the recipe. So first you want to take a large size butternut squash or two small ones and peel them, cut them, and cube them. In order to do this, you want to cut the top and bottom off of your squash and then cut it in half. You can cut it in half again if you want. And then you wanna scoop out the seeds. Now, I do have a part of the recipe later where you save the seeds, so you can go ahead and save those in a separate bowl. Once that is cored, you want to cut your squash into cubes, about an inch or so, just make sure they're all the same size, and put that aside. Next, you wanna take your onion and half that and then cut that into pieces that are around the same size as your squash pieces. Then you want to take your carrots. You can cut the carrot tops off. No need to shave your carrots. You can just wash them well and then cut those into chunks about the same size as your squash. Toss that in your bowl aside. And then you wanna take five cloves of garlic and roughly chop those and put those in your bowl too. Here's a tip, I usually keep a bowl when I'm chopping vegetables and I put all of the scraps in it. So we, here we have the peel of the butternut squash, we have some carrot ends, we have the peel of onion and garlic and the other ends of the squash, and this can all be composted. So, so far I have not created any waste. After that, you wanna put your veggies on a baking sheet, or I needed two because I had so much, so that's probably how many baking sheets you will need. Toss those in some oil, some salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. Toss those around so they're evenly coated. And then roast that all in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for around 40 minutes, I think is how long it took mine. Go ahead and halfway through that. If your baking sheets are on two different shelves, you can switch those and make sure you toss your veggies around a little so they are evenly baked. Now, while that is baking, you can go ahead and bring your vegetable broth to a boil in your large pot or Dutch oven. I'm using a Dutch oven because that's what I have, but obviously use what you have. And then separately, you can make the little topping if you want. I think this adds a lot of good flavor and texture to the soup, and it's usually pretty easy. So if you have some kale, which I got from my local co-op, I chopped that roughly, Toss that in some oil, and then I also added my squash seeds and some chopped carrot tops. This is a good way to use your carrot tops and not create any waste. I put all of my vegetable scraps in a separate bowl, and I'm going to compost all of that, so this recipe has no food waste for me. And additionally, you can use the carrot tops in your toppings. So, I have the kale, carrot tops, and butternut squash seeds, and I went ahead and tossed that in some oil as well and some salt and pepper. I put those in my little toaster oven at 350 for about 10 minutes. You can definitely do this in the same oven that you're roasting your vegetables. You just want to cook them for a bit less. Keep an eye on the kale so it doesn't burn. After your veggies have baked for about 40 minutes, then you're going to toss it into the vegetable broth. Let that simmer for like five minutes about, and then you're going to blend it up. So you can either put it in a blender if you have one or use an immersion blender, which is what I had. I went ahead and blended my vegetables up with the broth and I found that it came out a little thick so I added some water, probably about a cup or two, and continued to blend until it was smooth. 
then you put it back on the stove for about a minute or so just until it heats back up and then you can serve and top with your topping and I got some local sourdough so I'm going to serve it with that and here is the final product I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'm looking forward to doing more so please go ahead and subscribe like comment do whatever you want to do and I will see you next time. Thanks!